Hello everyone. Today is a cold Sunday morning and I have to do something in this area, which is a St. Mary area. And if I am here, I decided to make a short, short video about this small Canadian town. Behind me, you can see the city hall. City hall. Actually, it's not the city hall. It's a township building. Well, this town is not the typical Canadian town. It's around since 1800, or years late, years 1800, and used to be a farming community, an agricultural center. But the main street, it's for me, it looks like very European. It looks like a, a, a small town in Austria, or an not sure, maybe Norway, a color for buildings, the stones, the limestones, and there is a reason for the limestone because it's used to be a stone mine here. I believe it's still a stone mine. A town has a river, a Thames River, and it's running in a limestone bed. But there are many other interesting things in this small town. For example, it's not a farming community. I mean, it's a farming community, but not a farming community center or an agricultural center, as it used to be. It is an art center. A lot of interesting shops here on the main street, and lots of old buildings. For example, there is, there is the house. I don't even know what is it. Is everything just not like a typical Canadian townhouse? Well, we're going to take a short walk here. And I'm going to show you what I can show in a few minutes. Okay, so a short walk here in the main street. Law office. See, you can see this building is everything, just not the type of Canadian building. And there's a town, a very small town. I believe it's 8,000 people live here. You go look at the stone. Huh. Painting workshop. Pumpkin the pump pumpkin covering workshop. See that building and the clock on the top? It says Andrew's Jewel. Like, is a small town near the jewelry shop? Oh. So, what is it telling you? Not much telling me, but it means all kind of interesting shops here. It's a John D. Light, a red light, oh my. Okay. No 
other side of the road all kinds of pictures from the old town this way cheese shop in Delhi ah, cheese ah, what's of music store Oh, it looks like a music school in the store too. Oh, interesting decoration. Pottery. So other art shop. Oh, it's on the tables back on the shop. I'm not sure you can see it on the camera. So it's usually mean many tables. They producing and sell. And probably they have a workshop too. So as I said before, it's turned to be like an art center. Spice. Border shop. Actually, nail shop. Hmm. And this is the Thames River here. And the bridge, as you can see. However, there is the small channel coming into the bridge in the middle of this cement things with a piece of machinery on the top, and uh, under you can see the turbine. I'm not sure you can see, I can see. So, around the 1840s, someone built a water power plant here and is supplied electricity for the town. At, at that time, town was very small, so they didn't need too much electricity. However, uh, this uh, worked until, I believe, 1870s. I mean, it started to work from the 1870s, and on, on, on early 1900s, it still supply power. If you check the bridge, the bottom part of the bridge is the original pillars, the top part is revealed. Hello. If you check the river, you can see the river bed is limestone, many limestone everywhere. There is a building on the other side of the road with limestone. So we walk back a little. Of course, the sun is not working on my favor, as usually. So we get back to the main street. On the other side of the main street, a big building is limestone. So this building, I'm not sure what is it. Is limestone. Hey, I keep cheating a little bit. Whoa! 
So here we go. Crafters Market. It's a other art shop. So, shop of open meeting, September 9. Oh, buffalo is decide who are the stronger. <laughs> 